Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are going to be making a background music system where you can mute the music and the music is going to play it randomly so you do not have like a soundtrack that keeps on looping and looping and there'll be different music playing in a different order guys. So yeah, that's quite cool. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this and I'll be doing so after I've told you all about rblxcodes.com which is my own Roblox code website where you can find out game codes, music codes and guides. There is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out. Overall, we give a codes for over 1 thousand roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there and if you guys are guests let's just go ahead and go on into this video now first things first guys you actually want to find some music so pretty much guys what you want to do is either you can browse someone like the roblox create thing and uh, all you guys can go to audio tab and then you can just find some music you like you guys like here you can just listen to these and if you guys find a music thing that you guys do like what i'd recommend doing is just i'm just going to drag some random ones in here even though i know i'm not going to use these uh, but what you guys just want to do is just drag these into the game and i'll be showing you guys what to do with these sounds later on so guys what we are going to want to do here is actually first things first in the starter gui we are going to create a screen gui and inside this screen gui we are going to create a um a text button you guys can make an image button and just upload an image of a um sound mute button but um i'm just going to go ahead and make a text button guys for for ease of access over here so um pretty much guys let me quickly um scroll um just size this up a little bit and i'm just going to simply um slide the background transparency to one so it's completely um completely clear on the background i'm then you know guys no i'm gonna i'm gonna change it to a nice little blue i think and then i'm gonna actually put it back to to that and i think yeah i'm gonna keep it like that guys however i am gonna turn um off the border size pixel i'm gonna put that to zero then guys i want to select the text skill to the left over here and this text is just gonna be mute Something like that over there, guys. We maybe change the text um, to something a little bit nicer or... Well, I don't know what I've just done there. There we go, guys. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit nicer text. And then, of course, we make that white. So, yeah, I think that is... Well, that's okay right now, guys. Um, it obviously doesn't look the best. Also, guys, what I recommend doing is to actually convert the position and also size to scale. That means that it will not be... That it will not, like, change around... Um, if you guys are um if you guys are on a different device so for example 0 0.2 maybe um one second guys yeah uh we can just do like 0 0.2 and then 0 here um and then 0 0.2 and then 0 here guys and then you can just resize this out now that's going to change on the scale um, um on the scale value instead of of course the other one so yeah guys we have our mute button over here what we are going to do next is inside this button guys we are going to create anything this one is going to be a um actually guys no we'll, we'll, we'll do something a little bit different over here because okay so what we are going to go ahead and do right now guys is this so inside of the start to play script we are going to add a new script over here a local script and we are going to do this we're going to do um local player is at uh, players is equal to game get service players then we are gonna do local player is equal to players dot local player after that guys we are gonna do local and um, mute music is equal to instance dot new we're gonna set an int value and we are gonna parent this to the player so we're gonna do comma player after that guys we are gonna do this we're gonna do mute music dot name is equal to mute um music then guys we are gonna do mute actually no guys we're gonna do a bool value instead so b o o l value in here and then we're gonna do uh, mute music dot value and we are gonna set that to false over here okay now that i've done this we are gonna do this we are gonna do local sound ids is equal to these weird curly brackets and inside here guys we are going to put the sound ids so guys if you go to the music things which you guys got earlier on you'll see in the sound id bit you'll see this number what you guys need to do is copy this number and paste that in of course guys a lot of the things that i have selected over here aren't even songs so i'm just going to put ones that i used for my other game um in here right now guys however i recommend just browsing the the tool um the the um, what's it called again the toolbox to actually find these sound ids then guys we are going to do local sound is equal to instance dot new and then we're going to put sound in here okay now that i've done this guys we are going to do this we're going to do if mute music dot value is equal equal to false then we are going to do sound dot sound id is equal to um then you're gonna put the speech marks rbx a s s e t id colon forward slash forward slash rbx asset id colon forward slash forward slash guys then we are gonna do dot dot sound ids 
then we are going to do square brackets math dot random um, and then we are going to do in these brackets one comma five so um what i recommend doing here guys so count up how many um different ids you guys have got over here you'll always have one to start off with but let's say i have six ones over here so right now guys i only have one two three four five i only have five different sets of numbers let's say i had only three different songs that i was going to play for you guys i would actually put this um one to three so guys you change that number depending on how many sound ids you guys have put in here anyway now that i've done this guys what we are going to do here is do sound dot parent um is and that's going to be equal to workspace then we're going to do sound play that's going to start us and um, that's going to start our music playing now that i've done this guys we are going to do sound dot ended meaning whenever that song finishes we are going to connect to the function and we are going to put the sound id in here after that guys we're going to enter over here and then we're going to do local new sound id Keep in mind, guys, if you are struggling at any point in today's video, you can always actually download this exact Roblox Studio file from my Patreon account, guys. So feel free to go in and do that if you guys want to. Um, and as well as on there, you can receive one-to-one -one help from me personally. Anyway, th th we're going to do this. We're going to do do repeat um, new sound ID is equal to. Then just copy copy this, guys. Copy what you put over here. Un um, and then we're going to put a wait in here just so it doesn't cause any lag or crashes. And then we're going to do until new um sound id is like this weird squiggly line guys um if so this weird squiggly line it's next to the hashtag on the keyboard is not equal to sound sound id that what we're doing here guys is just making sure that the new sound that we've randomly selected but that we've randomly selected is not the same as the old one as we are comparing the new sound id which we've just got from here guys selecting a random um a random sound id from this table and we are checking if it's not the um it's not the same one as this um as the sound id that just ended for the song that played if you guys get what i mean over there anyway now that i've done this guys we are gonna do um after that we're gonna do sound um sound and then dot sound id is equal to new sound id and then we're going to do sound um and then play so pretty much guys what we are doing we are now changing the sound id of this sound in the workspace um to the new one and then we'll play in the song again okay then guys we are going to do this we are going to do um mute music dot changed connect um connect function and then guys we are going to do if mute music dot value is equal equal to false then we are just going to simply copy and paste this in here guys as it's the complete same essentially what this what, what we're doing here guys whenever the mute music value changes for example may, maybe it goes to true that's gonna completely stop this from playing guys um and i mean actually no sorry we actually need to do one final thing here we're gonna do else if mute music dot value is equal equal to true then we are gonna do sound stop so here guys we are gonna um we are going to stop the sound from playing guys um if i'm actually tied properly we're going to stop the sound from playing if it actually changes to true if it changes from true to false guys we are then going to start this um infinite loop again guys and stop playing some songs however guys we actually have no way of changing um the value of that to do that guys we are going to add a local script in that text button that we just done then we are going to do this we're going to do local players is equal to game get service players then we are going to do local player is equal to players dot local player. After that, guys, we are going to do local mute music is equal to player. Wait for child. And then we're going to put in here mute um, mute music. After that, guys, we are going to do local button is equal to script dot parent. Then, guys, we are going to do this. We're going to do button dot mouse button one up connect function. And then, guys, we are going to do if um mute music dot value is equal equal to false then we are going to do mute music dot value and that's going to be set to true as when they are pressing on the button at this time guys their their songs are currently playing and if that guy if they want to of course click on mute then it's gonna it's gonna change that to play guys then what we want to do here is this we're gonna do um button dot um we can do button um dot text and because the the songs are muted guys we can do equals play because now guys the next time they'll want to to press this they want to play it of course then we're going to do else um if 
mute music.value is equal or equal to true then guys we are gonna pretty much do the opposite guys we are gonna set this to false then we are gonna set this to mute so guys let me quickly try this out um i think this should be completely working right now however it is not gonna you're not gonna be able to hear the sound only i am it's just the way that i've set out this um my my my, my like audio thing but I, well for me right now guys the the song is playing i'm gonna click on mute and yes guys that has went ahead and stopped the song it's also saying playing right now i'm gonna click that again and then i well for me a new song is playing so that guys if you are actually playing that exactly like or if you've wrote that down exactly like i have that will work perfectly if not guys then you again you can receive one-to-one -one help from me on my patreon account where you can copy and paste that exact um roblox studio file into your own game but yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out